Hi, in this video we will see all the new updates of version 7.4.1 of Bookkeeper Windows. To update the latest version you can go to the help option and under help you will find option for Bookkeeper Beta software program. You can download the latest update from here. The first new update is that we have added a new template in under template settings. You can go to the settings option. Under template settings you will find a new template which is template 4. So this is how the template 4 design looks like. So let's keep this template. You can choose the template in different colors, whichever you like. And then you can go to the settings option under window specific setting. Make sure that this option of use Internet Explorer based browser, they should be unticked for this, for using this template. Now let's create a sale bill. I'm creating a cash sale bill. I'll create a new item. can select the tax so as you can see now this is the new template that we have added so this looks very much professional and all the details are coming you can print this and open in PDF So this is how the PDF of the invoice will look like. Our second new update that you get in version 7.4.1 is the option for display reference document in day book report. So we will go to any of the transaction. We can attach our reference document. You will click on the voucher. You get an option to attach reference document in the bill while creating the transaction. So let's edit this bill and select the reference document. Let's say I have added this reference document along with this bill and I have saved my bill. Once you have attached the reference document, until now there was no report available where you can get to know on what all transactions you have a reference document attached. To get this, you now you can go to the daybook report and under daybook report you will find a new option coming here, display reference documents. So if you tick this option and click on display, so you will find the reference document link over here, coming over here. You can click on this reference document and then you can find your file. You can open this and you'll get to know which reference document was attached to which invoice. The third new option that we have added in version 7.4.1 is now you can restrict users to create vouchers with insufficient inventory. So if you want to disable any of the user or don't allow him to do billing in negative inventory, then how you can restrict him? For that, we can go to the settings option. Under settings, you will find option for transaction settings. Under transaction settings, go to the warnings option. Under warnings option, you will find this new option coming, restrict user to create voucher with insufficient inventory. You can tick this option and save this setting. After you have saved the setting, now none of my users will be able to do billing in negative inventory. Now let's check that. We'll close the company and open the company with some user credentials. I already have a user created in this company file. So I'll just open the company with username and password. Now if the user tries to create any transaction and he is doing negative billing, so software won't allow him to save the bill. Let's check that. So let's create a cash bill. Now we'll select the item. The item is already minus one with me. If I am trying to sell another item, okay, and clicking on save button. So the moment I click on save button, I'll get a warning message like this insufficient inventory to create voucher. So software is not allowing the user to create invent billing in negative inventory. Admin can still create, but the users can now be restricted from creating billing in negative inventory. So these are the three new features that we have added in the latest version. We hope that you like these features. If you have any queries in any of the feature or are facing any issue, you can always contact our support team on this number 999 or mail us at support at